So today, I'm going to show you five different settings that are killing your FPS in Red Dead Redemption 2. These settings have a huge impact on performance, and I'll show you how to optimize each one. Number one is reflection quality. Reflection quality controls how detailed reflections appear on surfaces like water, windows, or shiny objects. The problem is, this setting uses a lot of GPU power. Especially on low-end or mid-range systems, it can drain FPS quickly. So my recommendation is, change this setting to medium for mid-range users and set to low for low-end PC users with minimal visual quality loss. As you can see, I've set reflection quality to medium, and now I'm getting around 10 more FPS. That's a nice boost. Number two is MSAA, multi-sample anti-aliasing. MSAA is used to smooth out jagged edges in the game. It makes the image look cleaner, but it's extremely heavy on performance, especially in Red Dead 2. Honestly, my advice is to keep this setting off for almost everyone. Turn off this setting helps to get better performance. At number 3, we have Near Volumetric Resolution. Near Volumetric Resolution controls the quality of fog, light rays, and other atmospheric effects close to the player. Setting it higher makes fog and lighting look smoother and more detailed around your character. This setting also has a high impact on performance, especially on mid-range and low-end PCs, so I recommend lowering it. You can boost performance with only a small drop in visual quality nearby. Number 4 is Water Refraction Quality and Water Physics. These settings have a high impact on FPS, especially in riverside areas. So I recommend putting Water Reflection Quality on Medium and Water Physics set to 1 for better performance with minimal quality loss. As you can see, I've set Water Refraction Quality to Medium and Water Physics to 1 and I'm getting over 20 more FPS. That's a huge boost! Now we've fixed the major performance drops in riverside areas. And finally, the biggest performance hit setting is resolution scale. This controls your internal rendering resolution. For example, if you're playing at 1080p, but set resolution scale to 1.5x or 2.0x, it's rendering the game at 4k or 8k internally and downscaling. It looks more sharper and smooth, but highly impact performance. In my opinion, you should turn this setting off to boost performance, especially on mid-range or low-end PCs. So these are the top 5 settings that have the biggest impact on performance in Red Dead 2. Try these optimizations, and you should see a big FPS boost without losing much quality. I really hope this video helped you out. I've made a lot of Red Dead 2 optimization tutorials, and many of them got great feedback and views, so thank you so much for your support. If you haven't seen my older videos, go to my channel homepage and check them out. They'll help you even more. If this video helped, please like and share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me grow this channel. And in the next video, I'll show you how to use X3 frame generation with lossless scaling on five different games. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy gaming.